Hi everyone, this presentation is part of coursework for Advanced Building Performance Modeling at the British University in Dubai. The subject case study building of this presentation is located at Reem Island in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. This presentation aims to demonstrate the role of natural ventilation in improving thermal comfort. Our selected passive cooling strategy is courtyard. Before we begin, let's see what role natural ventilation plays in building performance. Firstly, it is main method that delivers fresh air into building by utilizing natural forces like wind velocity, pressure, and buoyancy. Also, it removes odors and provides necessary oxygen for life inside the building. And it can, at certain conditions, reduces the perceived interior temperature by 3 to 4 degrees centigrade. As our project is located in arid climate zone, let's see how natural ventilation can be utilized. In the vernacular architecture of Abu Dhabi, houses were built considering natural ventilation as one of the main cooling strategies. Most common methods, among others of course, used to manage ventilation then was wind catchers and courtyard. As we are discussing here the concept of courtyard, let's see what are the most common types of courtyard are used in architecture. The first type is the enclosed or central courtyard, which is widely used in Arabian architecture. In addition to being a very efficient way to preserve the building occupant's privacy, it is used to facilitate natural ventilation. The second common type is the U-shaped courtyard, which is surrounded by the building from three sides and the fourth side is open. Third type is the L-shaped courtyard, which can be used in arid climate zone when the building is oriented in such a way that it blocks the solar heat and faces the wind direction. The fourth type is the inner courtyard where the spaces are divided into two parts. So, how courtyard works? Basically, at night and early morning hours, it traps heavy cold air. This air flows into adjacent spaces, reducing the temperature. Later in the day, when the temperature increases by noontime, the air heats up and becomes lighter. So it moves upward, creating negative pressure, causing external air to flow through the windows. During afternoon and evening, temperature starts to come down, making air cooler and heavier to start a new cycle. The case study building geographical location. The building is located in Reem Island, near water body, which can contribute to lowering air temperature. In Abu Dhabi, the highest temperature is in August, as well as the humidity. Wind direction is mostly northwest. Building specification and components. This building functions as elderly care house. Two floors has external windows and different living spaces. No balconies, floor to ceiling height, is 3 meters. Estidama rating system by Abu Dhabi Urban Planning Council is used to decide on minimum building specification. Here we will see the basis that all simulation scenarios is based on. The simulation will use IES virtual environment software. Analyze time of the year is from May to October, as the hottest months. Analysis will depend on CFD parameters and comfort ASHRAE 55 standards. 
first simulation case considers the building oriented towards north direction, windows closed and air conditioning is running. Suncast shows building sides that gain the most solar energy. North elevation is the least while south is the highest. Wind direction dictates that east side of the building has lowest wind speed and west side has the highest. In terms of air pressure, base case simulation shows highest pressure is on the northwest direction. By switching off the AC, maximum air temperature increased by 23 degrees Celsius, which we will aim to reduce by using natural ventilation as passive cooling strategy. The predictive mean value increased to the maximum discomfort level. In this scenario, the building is reoriented towards northwest. Windows are closed and AC is switched off. Solar energy load increases slightly on the northwest elevation. Now the building is oriented in such a way to face the direction of wind. Also facing the highest pressure direction to utilize the wind for ventilation and further simulations. Comfort indices used here are a predicted mean value and a predicted percentage of dissatisfied. The most comfortable conditions are provided when PMV is closer to zero and PPD below 20%. In this simulation, the space shows significant discomfort level. Based on the results, we conclude that reorienting the building has no major effect on the internal environment quality, with windows closed and AC off. Simulation number two, introducing first option of courtyard, which is enclosed type. Solar cast shows courtyard is less exposed to solar energy comparing to external walls. Also, wind speed is lower, while pressure is higher, which means that there is a little movement of air, taking into consideration our simulation time is at 5 p.m the time when the hot air ascends. In terms of internal conditions, the air velocity is similar in both floors. However, it is faster near the windows and courtyard. High temperature readings across the floors. However, it is a bit lower near the windows. PMV and PPD analysis shows extreme discomfort level. Scenario conclusion. This strategy allows for high level of hot air to enter the building with high level of humidity. Enclosed courtyard has high wind pressure and low velocity, making it work as heat island during summer season. Third simulation includes open type courtyard and shading device in form of louvers and vertical fins to try to reduce heat gain. Suncast shows that shading reduces solar energy load on courtyard walls. Wind speed increased inside the courtyard because it is opened. Also pressure reduced, which allows for more air movement. Internal velocity is similar for both floors. Increased air speed near the courtyard. Significant improvement in internal air temperature compared to enclosed courtyard scenarios. Improved comfort level, but discomfort during summer remains. Fourth scenario is similar to the third, but louvers are fully opened. Building design showing shading device and rafters to cool the air by circulation. Scenario conclusion. This strategy allows the morning colder air to be protected from the sun. This delays the increase in air temperature inside the courtyard allowing cooler air to enter the building. Simulation number 5 45 degrees louvers and additional skin for the courtyard to create a cavity, 
Also, window size is reduced to 1 meter by 1.2 meters. The cavity works like this. Day hot air cools at night and becomes heavy. Enters the cavity in the early morning hours. Air temperature reduced further inside the cavity through circulation. Then it enters from a low level opening to the room. During afternoon, a reverse process happens. The air heats up and ascends, pulling air from the building. Also in this scenario, we have a bit higher velocity and lower pressure inside the courtyard. More homogeneous internal air movement and lower internal air temperature. Scenario conclusion. This strategy provides lower solar gain through reduction of window size, shading louvers and cooler air through having the courtyard with cavity. Winning scenario is scenario number five because it has provided lowest increase in temperature and solar gain among other scenarios when we compare it to base case. And it has least increase in discomfort parameters against base case. Nevertheless, it's still within significant discomfort zone. In this section, we will discover automation system that aims to reduce energy consumption and related to our courtyard strategy. There are many examples of automation systems that can be used in this building. Among those is heating and ventilation, smart windows, lighting control, dynamic storage, automated energy backup systems, shading systems, air quality, and safety systems. Automation strategy selected is metal louvers. It's going to be used on top of the courtyard to regulate exterior air exchange. Two opening angles of louvers suggested. The first one is no opening in the morning to keep the cold air within the courtyard and 45 degrees in the afternoon to allow for the hot air to move upwards. Automation system simulation conclusion. No shading case does not improve any thermal comfort. Fully closed louver works better in the morning hours. Partially opened louver works better in the afternoon hours. Conclusions. Courtyard as passive cooling strategy can provide reduction in air temperature to a certain extent. But in desert climate, it will not be sufficient to deliver a comfortable internal environment. Combining courtyard to other passive strategies can deliver better results. Adding automated control system to passive cooling strategies might improve its efficiency. Thank you very much for watching.